Welcome to phase three of transforming my uh, downstairs bedroom into my office. Uh, if you haven't checked out the phase one and phase two videos, uh, they are on my channel, so check those out. Now, phase three is a, as you can see from this picture, a railroad track around the perimeter of the office up near the ceiling. Normally you would use a fairly small train, especially in that size room, because it's a fairly small room, but the train I have is G scale, which is garden scale, which is huge, the biggest scale, usually used outdoors. So it is going to look big in that room, but that's what I've got and that's okay. And in the future, if I get a smaller train, um, once I have this shelf built, I could replace it at any time with a different train. So the first thing I need to do is figure out the corners and cut those out. All right, in order to make the turn, I have to come out 12 inches from the corner. So that's hanging out quite a bit from the middle of the room. And that's having my tracks one inch from the wall. So now I need to get the train and actually test that, that at one inch it's not going to hit the wall and it can make that turn. All right, so I'm going to hold up a board as if it's the wall, perpendicular here. All right, so that doesn't work. So we're going to check if we can go in two inches, or one inch and a half, and then we'll check two inches. Okay, so one and a half was still too tight. It was just barely rubbing. Um, so we went to two inches and that works great. So I'm going to score the inside of the track at two inches. And then that gives me a That's a, about five and a half, because the track is three and a half inches. So an, an extra half inch past that, and that's what I wanted to get to was six inch shelves. So that puts it right on the edge, the outer edge of the shelves. Um, I could go with eight inch shelves, but Maybe I'll do a lip. Six inch for that small room seems to work better. So we'll put our train away until it's time to play for real. And we'll cut these out. So we need to mark, we'll cut one out and then do it on each of, each of the four corners. And basically I'll come to about where it straightens, so the beginning of the straight. Now I've got four corners, so that's what I'll do. Okay, I got three corners cut. The fourth one actually connects in with the cabinet. We've got the cabinet right up against the wall, so that's going to be different. And then actually one of these, I'm probably gonna have to trim as well uh, because it's we're up against where the bulkhead is. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to work. And then I need to get some bigger brackets. Right now I only have the six inch for the long lengths. I need to go get some 12 inch uh, shelf brackets. Okay, I'm using a half inch MDF and I need the top of the shelf to be at nine inches below the ceiling. So I made this board nine and a half. So that will give me the guide for my brackets, the top of my brackets. Okay, so for this corner, got an L bracket hanging down 
and then my two, the 12 inch and the six inch. So we'll attach those with half inch screws. Okay, next step was to put brackets up for the long shelf and then screw those in. I had to re, not redecorate, but rearrange some stuff so the shelves will fit. So we've got the two main corners and the one long piece done. Now we'll get the two odd corners that go with the cabinet. Okay, we finished these odd corners, so we had to cut this one here at an angle to come out to the shelf. And it's still just because of the curb, curve there. And then we have our bridge, which this whole area will be phase four. But for right now, at the bridge, and then on this end, we just had to cut it short and used a piece of wood underneath to hold that up. And then we have L brackets. You can see under there, they're actually, instead of coming down, they're going up. So we have tracks surrounding the entire room. And with these pictures that are just Velcroed onto the wall, they're foam board prints. We've got the train traveling around the world. We've got Mount Fuji, Yellowstone, Tokyo Disney, Achireale, Sicily, Edinburgh, the Tetons, Taormina, and Japan. And so our train travels along the upper side of the room. I had to get some new straight track because I didn't have enough. But now it's done. So that's phase three. Um, I haven't decided what to do with the actual shelf, whether to paint them or keep them brown. I don't want to paint them dark because it'll make the room even smaller than it already is. And this MDF board really sucks up paint. So I may just keep it brown for now until I decide what to do. So that's why I'm calling phase three done. And then phase four will be to finish this area here. And once phase four is done, the office is 99% complete. I mean, I might tweak stuff in the future, um, but not much. So there we have it, a G-scale train running the ceiling line of our office. Thanks for watching. If you didn't watch phase one and two, check those out to see how I got to this point. And subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you next time on the Green Workbench.